Welcome to Standing Stone Learning Center. My name is Gull, and today I am going to be going over taping your work down to your work surface. I already have multiple paintings taped down. They are taped down to a five by seven, but I have to get one more on here and I'm kind of pushing it and squeezing it in. This is going to be an eight by 10. Because I need to have tape on the all the way around the edge. I don't want my my measurement to start right on the edge of the paper. I want to come in a little bit. So the tape itself is outlining the size painting I need. This is going to be an 8 by 10 and I'm going to be painting right to the edges. I'm not leaving a white border. If you're leaving a white border around an 8 by 10 then you want to mark out your 8 by 10 and then come in however much you want to have for a border, whether it be a quarter inch, half inch, whatever you prefer. That's where you would put the tape so the paint doesn't go past that point. And you can measure and then draw the line, but uh, to save time, I'm just going to tape it down. I've got my little marks. Get your tape roughly out. I'm lining the tape up in my little... I make little V's so I get the edge of the tape right on the point. I am taping right to this drawing board so when I'm done painting and it's dry, I can pick this whole board up and stand it somewhere out of the way so I can have my kitchen table back. <clears throat> And then this is my mark for my eight inch one edge. And I, like I said, I'm pushing it. So part of my edge is underneath here, which is going to be a little tricky. It is in the way. But this is what happens sometimes. Oops, that wasn't too bad. And get my tape down here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I got myself right into a predicament here. And these clamps are tight. Where I'm doing the 8 by 10, it's okay if I've, I'm a little bigger because I'm going to measure again and cut this out. So that's taped down and ready to get its image transferred on.